If you're healthy, 18 or older, and not taking any medication, Prism Clinical Research has upcoming studies that provide financial compensation ranging from $500 to $3,000 for study participation time. In Lauder, Tom Hannon back with the Twins' final pitch presented by Prism Research. Following the Twins' 8-2 loss, Game 2 loss to the Yankees in New York, New York takes a 2-0 lead. Twins have not looked like the Twins that we witnessed through most of 2019 so far. Yeah, and this is a situation where offensively things have not gone the way that the Twins hitters have wanted them to. Just 13 hits over the course of these last two games, and this is a ball club that continued to pound the baseball. Yeah, they hit 300 home runs, but they also sprayed the ball around the ballpark. But they've gotten themselves in a situation where things have gone a little bit cold offensively. And from a pitching standpoint, eight walks in last night's game, repeated by eight walks again in tonight's game. That's too many free passes against a team like the New York Yankees that continues to hit the ball around the ballpark. Going into Yankee Stadium, you have to make sure that men physically, yeah, you have to be prepared to play in Yankee Stadium, but mentally, you have to also be prepared in Yankee Stadium. The schedule makers only allow you to go in there just three times a year as, you, as a Central Division team, so you don't quite get the magnitude of what it's like to play in Yankee Stadium, especially when it turns out into postseason play, but the Twins want like heck to have an opportunity to go back there next week. Take a look at the final numbers today. Twins outscored 18 to 6 so far in the first two games of the series. Afterwards, their manager, Rocco Baldelli, shared his message and mindset heading into game three. The message that really our guys really understand, they don't they don't always need to hear it all the time. They hear it occasionally, is that um, we handle our business and do what we do in a very particular way, and we've done it our way. Um, all year long, from the first day we've shown up to spring training until now. And we're not going to change that for anyone. We're not going to change that because we're down 0-2 in a playoff series uh, or for any other reason. So um, we rely on ourselves. We pick ourselves up. We've done a great job with that all year long. You know, any sort of stretch where um, things weren't going well, that's fine. We, we can deal with that, and uh, we're going to be perfectly okay, and we're going to come out fighting and, and ready to go. Rocco turns to Jake Odorizzi for Game 3, and there's some confidence that comes in what he was able to accomplish this season. It's Luis Severino for the Yankees, who was rocked by the Twins in the first inning of the 2017 Wild Card Game. So Jake will be depended upon, relied upon in a large sense, for a quality start on Monday. And he knows how to pitch. He's been in the situation before from the standpoint that he has pitched against this New York Yankee ball club coming from the years that he spent over in the American League East with the Tampa Bay Rays. And so he'll be ready. He'll be up to the task. And I thought it was very important that Rocco Baldelli talked about the fact that from a confidence standpoint, he is not going to allow any cracks in the self-confidence of his ball club or any of the self-confidence in any of his players. You have to make sure that you're at an all-time high with regards to confidence when you're going to play against this New York Yankee ball club Monday sets up to be just a barn burner at Target Field. Hope you'll join us Monday night at 6 o'clock for a special one-hour edition of Twins Live, the pregame show Twins and Yankees in Game 3. Thanks for watching this Twins Final Pitch presented by Prism Research.